Hi everyone, this is Sash with IDA Bluebeam, and I'm going to show you a trick in which you can get the automatic form creation to recognize checkboxes. For those of you that have Bluebeam Extreme, you've probably gone to Tools, Form, and Automatically Create Form Fields. When doing so, you may have discovered that it still does not recognize the checkboxes. We can see over here that it did find some other data within the PDF form. I'll go ahead and remove that. So one of the ways you can work around this is by using a text box and some brackets. I'll show you how that works. I'm going to zoom into one of the checkboxes. I'm going to come up to the text box tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. And for now, I'll just do a bracket with a couple of spaces and another bracket, and then I'll stretch it out to get this shape. When I put it around here, you can see it doesn't quite fill in this checkbox area, so I'll change up the font maybe. In this case, I'll just use one of the default fonts, and we can see that we're a lot closer. I'll come in here and change the text box size to an 8, and we can see that it looks a lot better. One of the things I also like to do is auto size the text box to make sure things are centered. That looks a lot better. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information over here, I'm going to come over to my uh, tool chest, and we can see it over here, so I'm just going to drag this up like so. Now I'm going to right mouse click on it and I'm going to create account. You'll see why I'm doing this here in a moment. Now I'm going to come over to my search. I'll select on the visual search here and then I'm going to get a rectangle. And what I want to do is I want to get a rectangle around this checkbox. I'm going to ask Bluebeam to search for this shape and I'll go ahead and do a search. We can see down here that it's working on doing a search. Bluebeam returned that it found 13 results. I'm going to go ahead now and select all of these. And then since these are incorrect, I will uncheck those. Now that I've selected these checkboxes, I'll come over to the check options, and then I'm going to apply that count measurement. And here's the result. You can see right here that it applied a count measurement to all the checkboxes. If I zoom in a little bit, we can see that they're not quite lined up. If I select the count measurement from the markups list, we can see that they're all selected. I'll zoom in now, and while they're all selected, I can drag this up a little bit. We can see it's a lot better. Now, we don't want this red bracket to show up in our form, so now what I'm going to do is I'll select the count measurement once again. I'm going to come over to the properties, and for the properties of the count measurement, I'm going to change the opacity from 100% to zero. By doing so, you can see that it now disappears. Now, what I want to do is I want to flatten this document so that this count measurement no longer shows up. To do so, I'm going to come to Document, and I'm going to go to Flatten, and I'll just make sure everything is selected over here, and I'm going to flatten it. Now that it's flattened, Bluebeam will still recognize that information kind of behind the scenes in the PDF. Remember, it's transparent. However, it's still a, a searchable or selectable field. Now let's try the forms again. I'm going to come over to Tools. I'm going to go to Form and automatically create form fields. And we can see now that the form fields have been created. I can see that I have a box that's slightly larger than the original checkbox. And so what I'm going to do here is actually maybe make this transparent. So I'll select the uh, incorrect information so we can see once again I'm not interested in having this info over here. I'm just going to focus on these checkboxes. Now what I could certainly do is I could certainly select one of these checkboxes or all of them and change the width and the height until I get it right. But I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to select all of these over here. I'll make sure I'm on my properties. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my line width, which is now one pixel, and I'm going to make it zero. When I do so, you can see the outline of it goes away. But when I put a check in there, it looks pretty good. So give that a shot and see if this works out for you. Thank you very much.